So you may be watching this after clicking on a link in a comment I left on a video. If not, this might not make a lot of sense. But anyway, this video is in response to one that appeared in my feed describing how using the Fibonacci sequence is a betting strategy in roulette that can lead to enormous profits. And I'm not going to link to the video. It's, it's complete BS. And I actually made this video to demonstrate that trying to employ any betting strategy or system in roulette, including this one using a Fibonacci sequence, is an absolutely guaranteed way of ensuring catastrophic losses in the wrong, long run. So please, please just don't do it. I mean, the video itself had about half a million views and it's posted by a channel with affiliate links to casinos. So they don't care whether you win or lose and you will lose. They get paid for just getting you to sign up. And I think it's nasty, it's underhand and it leads to all sorts of folks who can ill afford to lose money signing up and trying stupid systems like this one. And also, Many of the comments on the video show that a lot of people had difficulty getting their heads around the probabilities involved. So I wrote a quick and dirty Python script to demonstrate exactly what will happen if you use the system as described in the video. And if this saves just one person from creating an account on a casino site and losing money, then it'll have been more than worth it. So just to recap what was said in the video, the system requires a player to make column bets, these ones here, um, and which pay two to one and then increase the stake according to the Fibonacci sequence when you lose and then resetting to a starting stake after a win. So let's now go through the code I wrote. So here we're just setting up a few variables first. Here we're setting up the initial bank role that we're going to use and I'll show later on that this is actually irrelevant. It doesn't matter in the long run. So this is the routine that runs the simulation. This is the numbers we're betting on, which equate to the center column in the table we just looked at. Here's our initial bet. This is the Fibonacci sequence, which is the, the sequence of bets that we'll follow. And this is how we increase the bet every time we lose. Now you notice in the video, he stopped at $455. That's because there was a, a table limit of $500. And again, we can show that it doesn't matter whether you stop here or whether you continue the Fibonacci sequence, the, the end results are in the end identical. So here's how we spin for a number of spins. And we're counting our bank roll, and this is where we're actually choosing the random number that will be the number that would have been chosen on the roulette wheel. This is using the Python random number generator, which is similar. It is not exactly the same, but it is similar to the random number generator that will be used in online casinos. And we do some calculations that if we win, we get our, our, our stake plus our winnings. If we lose, nothing, of course. Now, if we lose, this is where we then... Um, if we win, we reset back to the first of the Fibonacci sequence. And if we lose, we try and go to the next one in the Fibonacci sequence. And let's say if we reset, if we get to the end of the Fibonacci sequence, we reset back to zero. And if the current bet is bigger than our bankroll, we're out of money and it's game over. And here's just a little function to plot um, some charts at the end. And this is where we actually play the game and there's displaying some data at the end of it. So if we run this through, we're going to look at one run of 100 spins. This is one game of 100 spins we're going to run through here. And here's the chart. And at the end of it, we did OK. Bit of a scary loss there. And then again, a bit of a scary loss again. And overall, we end up just with a little bit of profit of actually 120 quid, so $120, pounds, dollars whatever so we actually made a, a slight profit so the sum what we'll do is let's look at 10 runs of 100 spins and see how we do okay so in the first one we dropped significantly we came back made a slight profit same again a little profit nice profit bit of a profit bit of a profit this is looking good oh we made a bit of a loss there a little bit of profit up again, up again, and down quite considerably for that one. And overall, at the end of our 10 rounds of the spins, we now made a profit of $765, pounds, wherever you are. Seems quite okay. Now, what we're going to do now is we're not going to change anything about how we play. We're just going to change how long we play for. So rather than looking at 100 spins, because this number is in fact completely arbitrary, let's look at 10 runs of 1,000 spins. And if we now run that, you'll see that it lost quite a lot there. You see you get these slow climbs followed by 
pretty catastrophic drops. And the next one, it dropped again. Next one, it dropped again. It dropped again. And that one actually made a little bit of profit at the end of it. Uh, that one dropped a bit. That one dropped. That one dropped. And dropped. And dropped. And overall, you see over the 10 rounds of a thousand spins this steadily decreasing amount in your bank balance and overall in that one you would have lost twenty four thousand four hundred and forty dollars not great and again not changing how we play just how long we play as i say this number's arbitrary let's look at ten thousand spins this time okay so we're just playing for longer and the longer you play for, the more likely you are to reach the statistically likely result. There's your first round, these climbs, followed by these catastrophic drop drops every time. OK, now that one actually made it all the way to the end of the 10,000 and actually made a decent little profit. But a lot of these you'll see, they don't actually make it to the 10,000 rounds here just over 3,000 rounds you you're actually bankrupt you've you've run out of money so the game stops and then the next one you ran out of money just before the 10,000 rounds the next one you ran out of money the next one you ran out of money and again and the pattern becomes fairly predictable that you're running out of money in a fairly steep decline So let's extend the number of rounds that we played this time and we'll do a hundred rounds of 10,000 spins. So this time we're looking at a million spins and we won't plot the individual graphs because we'll be here forever. We'll just plot the, the graph at the end. So this is now looking at a million spins overall, which is playing for an awful long time. And let's have a look here. And you can see very, very clearly, and it doesn't matter now how many times that we run this, over millions and millions of spins, you will get consistently very, very similar results ending at the same place where you will just lose. Now, interestingly, earlier, we said it didn't matter what the bankroll was when you started. So we're starting with a 5,000 bankroll. Let's make it a $5 million bankroll to start with. And in fact, if we now run that through... It doesn't change the pattern at all. In fact, you actually lose more money starting with a bigger bankroll, but the end result is the same no matter where you start. Now, interestingly, if we look at this as well, there's another thing to convince us. So here, we lost $591,620 out of a, frankly, eye-watering $23,582,300 that we wagered. And if we look at those numbers, if we just bring up the calculator for a second. So we lost $591,620 out of $23,582,300 and times that by um, 100 to give us a percentage that's actually 2.5%. And that's actually 0.2 of a percent away from what would be statistically expected if you look at what the house advantage is for this bet. This, the house advantage, the built-in advantage of the house is, two, is about 2.7%. And as you saw here, it was 2.5%, 2.52%. So, this isn't cutting edge mathematics here. This has been completely known about for hundreds of years. There is no mathematical or staking system that you can beat the house advantage in the long run. It's why casinos largely don't need to blatantly cheat you. The cheat is built into the game. And as this shows, if you had an infinitely large bankroll and you could play for an infinite amount of spins, you still cannot beat the house advantage. So genuinely, please don't try systems that come up like this one on youtube it's just a guaranteed way to lose money um thank you for listening thank you for watching i hope that was informative um take care